Dr. Hood, Professor Tarling, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we do have two events in one, an exhibition opening and a conference opening. To the exhibition, Solon's Clay Road, which, as has been said, already mounted in Hong Kong and Macau and seen by some 10,000 people. Well, I've just had the uh, opportunity to look through the exhibition and I thought it was wonderful. Uh, when we talk of the uh, clay journey, the clay road, there is actually a clay road at the centre of the exhibition. And it's made up of 1,617 prostrating human figures as they slowly crawl towards the steps of a great temple behind it, a tower behind it, a mountain. And it's actually quite a, a universal theme, I think, from ancient cultures, because what struck me when I first looked at it was it reminded me of uh, journeys in Mexico and looking at the great temples of the uh, Mexican uh, indigenous people and what we've read about the building of that. But it, it could be Egypt, it could be China, it could be Japan, it could be anywhere. It's a, it's a universal theme. I thought it was very, very uh, moving indeed. And then the exhibition uh, has quite a focus on the teapot, but teapots as you have never seen them before. Wonderful teapots, teapots with wings that look as though they're going to fly away from the, uh, from the wall. Uh, the teapot uh, uh, couple, uh, the, the animals, the rooster and the duck. And as Solon was explaining this to me, it reminded me of a conversation in Singapore many years ago where uh, a friend's uh, mother-in-law who was Chinese had a Filipino maid and I remember saying uh, how do they converse with each other because the maid didn't know the Chinese dialect which the mother-in-law spoke and the mother-in-law didn't know Filipinos and I remember the mother saying being translated back to me saying it's like a hen and a duck and that's what your teapots do so I was very very taken uh, with that and then for all the suits here tonight you will want to reflect on the exhibition part, which is called City Biscuits. And City Biscuits are a whole lot of sort of cutouts of men in suits, uh, joined together like, like biscuits. And it sort of conveys almost an, uh, an emptiness, a spiritual emptiness. But it, it's worth reflecting on. I'm not sure whether we want to take a message from it or not. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go away and think about it and change the suit. <laughs> so th th there's much more I could say about the exhibition. It is just fantastically uh, rich. And it comes from someone who has worked across a whole range of art forms in her career and artistic development, starting with traditional Chinese calligraphy, uh, moving on to painting with watercolours and oils, and since 1990, and uh, since coming to New Zealand, largely working in ceramics. And that, I imagine, uh, is why the exhibition talks about the influence of the Chinese upbringing, but also the New Zealand natural environment, because you see in the glaze uh, what Solan is picking up from what's special about the colours and textures of New Zealand itself. So I think as Minister of Arts, Culture and Heritage, we really have to welcome exhibitions of this kind because we draw on a very rich cultural heritage in New Zealand. It is certainly not one dimensional. It starts with the heritage of the first people, Māori, and it moves on to the heritage of all of us whose people came from so many other places. We do look to our creative people in the visual and performing arts to reflect in their own way on the people we are and the nation we are becoming. And of course the arts also have a role as critic and conscience of society, challenging us and our perspectives to look at ourselves in different ways. And this exhibition does that. And I would expect that as the many Asian communities in New Zealand grow, their members will become increasingly prominent as Solon has what is already a very rich and very varied contemporary art scene in New Zealand. So with those few words, it is a pleasure to be able to declare both the exhibition and the conference open. And we have um, scissors.
for both Solon and for me. And our job, Solon, is to proceed up that walkway and jointly declare it open. Thank you. We've declared, declared it officially open.